Hey you guys, it's Bree. Welcome to our March garden tour. We had what is hopefully our last freeze of the year last night. It was 31 degrees. I'm hoping that's it and we can start planting stuff. Let me go ahead and turn you all around and show you what we do have currently growing inside our garden beds. This bed doesn't have anything growing in it just yet, but I went ahead and got it all topped off with new fresh dirt so it's ready to start planting in. This one over here, I wanted to wait until I pulled everything out before I started planting flowers, but I think this bed is going to have flowers in it. The Toy Choy had already gone to seed, but it started getting aphids. I'll put a video in right here. This right here is the Toy Choy, and as you can see, it has gone to seed. These flowers are absolutely beautiful, but I am getting, assuming an aphid infestation or something like that. I don't know if you can see that on that back there, but there are little bugs all over that. So I am going to go ahead and cut this out of here. I do not want these bugs in my garden. Then we have our cabbage that I don't know what it's gonna do, if it's gonna head up or not, but if anything, I'll give it to the chickens. And then we do have, this is the broccoli that went to seed. So I'm hoping to collect seed from it. And then that will be done. I do want to show you, I have a beautiful self-seeded blue bonnet right here. It's really big and it is beautiful right now. And then we have a few more buds that are getting ready to bloom as well. Been being very careful to make sure I don't step on that. Over here, I do have another little blue bonnet right there. It's getting ready to have a flower right there in the middle, right in the middle of the walkway. Over here, we have our blueberry bushes, and you can see they are getting lots of buds all on the tips of these. So that one is the Ocalon blueberry. I never knew how to pronounce that one. This one over here is the Vernon blueberry. And you can see its flower clusters right there. I'm hoping the frost didn't kill them. They still look okay. Got a bunch over here as well. And then this one is the Tift Blue. Now, I don't see any buds on it yet, but there is a good amount of growth on it, so that's exciting. My fig trees, I've been looking to see if they're starting to wake up, and I'm not too sure on this one over here, but hopefully it's okay. And then same thing with that one over there. I don't see anything happening just yet, but fingers crossed they come back. In the middle here is where we planted our strawberries. We have the Ozark Beauty strawberries on that one, that one, and that one. And then those three over there are the Chandler strawberries. So you can see size comparison. The Chandler strawberry plants are quite a bit bigger. And then let me come over here so I can show you. We are actually starting to get little strawberries forming. So that's pretty exciting. Now I know some people would pull all these flowers off. I'm gonna go ahead and let them just stay on and see how many berries we get this first year. And then spread throughout here, we have all of our onions and they've put on a decent amount of growth. So I think they're all doing really good. I cannot wait until we actually get to eat our first strawberry. So all the strawberries are over here and then all the strawberries are over there. It's not gonna to be too much longer until we actually get to eat some. So that is really, really exciting. Over in this bed, we have all of our lettuce. So this was a lettuce mix. So you can see we have one variety right there, this one right here, this really pretty one. I like the color of this one. And then it just goes all the way down. So I've been pulling off of it. You can see right there and it's going to start growing back but I'm probably gonna give the chicken some of this here in a little bit. And then we do have, the carrots have gotten quite a bit bigger. And then I dug down a little bit to see, and we are starting to get a little carrot down there. So fingers crossed, these will continue to grow. And we have some over there as well. 
So those are looking really, really good. We've been working on getting all the weeds pulled out. So we got pretty much all of that area over here. And there's still a few little ones growing in. But then this whole area we have not gotten yet. I did some of it, but definitely a lot to go. Oh, here's another beautiful blue bonnet. Right in the middle of our walkway. And then we do have a bunch of weeds back there that I need to pull out as well. And then all over here. So, yeah, we've got a lot of weeding to do on this side of the garden. So right here is the garlic that we planted together. You can see it's all growing really, really nicely. This is just the regular garlic. And then this over here is the elephant garlic. So quite a bit thicker coming out. And then there's another one down here that I kind of dug back. Where is it? Of course, when I'm trying to show you, I don't see it. But the other one had started doing something, but it's not popping up out of the ground. So I don't know if that's going to do anything or not. I think in my last garden tour video, I still had the passion vine flower all on top of the trellis. So I did pull that off and I don't see any new growth coming out of either of those stalks. So fingers crossed they didn't die because I would love to have those back on the trellis, but if they did die, I'll go ahead and plant something else. I have plenty of seeds for things I can plant. But the trellis is definitely looking pretty bare right now. So now we're on the side where I just have a bunch of flowers, and there are quite a few things waking up, but the things I'm most excited about are my salvia and my ornamental alliums. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all those. I was really worried last night that the frost was going to kill all this, but I didn't come out and cover it, and it is still looking really, really good. So I was very happy to see that. This right here is the Pavonia rock rose, and this is the original plant. And you can see there's a new one coming up right here. There's a new one coming up back there. And then there's this one right here coming up as well. I might try to transplant a couple of those because that one plant took up this whole area right here. So I don't think I want all of those right there, but I love the Pavonia rock rose. This is the ornamental onion or ornamental allium, and it's just looking nice and full. So I can't wait to see blooms on those. And nothing else on this side is waking up. I did add some little stepping stones right there because unfortunately it does get pretty muddy. So I thought those would help out a little bit. Over here, we do have some alliums that I planted, but I don't know, they didn't really perform like I wanted them to. And then I do have the mums right here. But this bed, unfortunately, it needs a lot of soil added to it and it's kind of bowing out a little bit, you can see right there. So I need to do some work to this. Over here, we have the guara coming back that right there is the aster and then we do have new leaves on our rose of sharon as well and then i forgot what this was but this is something that i pulled out of my dad's yard and i wasn't sure if it was even going to make it but you can see it's actually starting to getting ready to start blooming as well i have no clue what it was called if i can figure out what it was i'll put it on the screen but it's just something that just started growing wild in his yard and I dug it up and brought it home and surprise, surprise, it lived that season and it's actually coming back. So that's pretty exciting. So now let's go into the pumpkin patch area. So if you've been watching my videos, you know that we used to have a pig in this area and after we rehomed her, we noticed that tons of pumpkins started growing in here. So then we actually ended up intentionally planting pumpkins in here and we didn't get a whole bunch, but we did get a few. And so then we decided to go ahead and just throw all of our pumpkins in here and break them up and see what happened after last Halloween. Well, wish I came out here a couple days ago to show you because I definitely see the frost killed them. But I want to show you how many pumpkins we have popping up. So that's what that is right there. But you can see frost damage for sure. But hopefully, 
these will come back. This one was nice and big. You can see on it, but yeah, the frost definitely got it. We got another one popping up there. We have a nice little grouping right there. And then we got several popping up over there. Look at this one. This one didn't seem to get damaged too much by the frost, so that's exciting. And then we got some more over there. Now, how come the frost can't kill all the weeds? It loves to kill the plants that I don't want it to kill, but it does not kill the plants that I would like it to kill. There's still plenty of time for all these to grow. So I was just excited to see this many already popping up. But I know if they did all make it right now, I'd be getting pumpkins pretty early. Nowhere near Halloween. But I'm just going to let all of these go and see how many pumpkins we get and what varieties that we get. Because I threw all different kinds of pumpkins out there. So I'm not going to know what they are until they start actually forming the pumpkins. So now we're over here by the chicken coop. They are making quite a bit of noise this morning. In the beds over here by them, one of the beds, that one over there just has irises in it, but this one has a few other things growing in it. So this one is full of self-seeded larkspur. I planted larkspur seeds in here several seasons ago, and these are all just coming up on their own, and I can't wait to see tons of pretty blooms. Hey girl. So now we're over here on the back side of the garden where we have lots of stuff going on over here. So we still have our beautiful pansies. I'm not seeing anything on our trumpet flower yet. Fingers crossed, hopefully that comes back. This is the, what is it? Beautyberry. It had new growth. You can see all right here, but the frost damaged it a little bit. On our salvia, this is, which one? Let's see. This is the Rose Marvel one. Doesn't seem to be damaged by the frost and you can see we're actually gonna start getting blooms on it soon. There's some more over there. So that's pretty exciting. All of these irises are doing really, really good. I don't see any bloom stalks on these ones yet. We do have a bunch of daffodils. None of them are opening just yet. We have beautiful violas, beautiful pansies, getting a little bit of age on them, but still beautiful with this color. So beautiful. We got daffodils popping up. Look at this one. Beautiful, deep red color. And then here we have our daffodils. These are the replete daffodils. So it started off as one bulb and it definitely multiplied, I can tell. You can really see right here. This is coming out of one bulb right there. That one's coming out. And then we got these bloom stalks. So even though we had the frost last night, hopefully these will still be okay. Our pincushion flowers survived. These were planted last year, I believe. And you can see we got bloom heads all over them. So that's pretty exciting. More pansies, more irises, more violas. This is the peonies that's coming back. I'm really excited to see that because it died pretty early on last year. So I'm just excited that it's actually coming back. We have another blue bonnet right there. The original blue bonnet plant was planted somewhere in this corner. And so it's got one self seeded right there. That's the one big one right there. That one in the walkway right there. And then the other one is way over here somewhere. And it all started from this corner right here. I did just notice right now, we have bloom stalks on these purple irises. That's what those are right there. My rose bush, I'm gonna have to uh, do more research on how to prune that because I did not prune it correctly. And you can see it's a big, huge cluster. So I don't know if that's gonna be a huge issue or not, so we'll see. I did just notice, looks like we're gonna have a rose soon. This is the Beverly Rose. 
And then I'll put a picture on the screen of what this looked like. The frost definitely damaged my first open, I actually I lied, second open iris right here. So I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see it. Irises are probably my favorite flower and there's just so many different beautiful ones and I've acquired quite a few since I started gardening. So I have them in all four of these beds, the two beds by the chicken coop. I have some in the corners of the other side of the beds. I have some in the front of my house, in the back of my house, side of my house. They're kind of everywhere. And I had decided to do an entire iris bed. And that's what this is here behind me. And I did a video when I planted that. And unfortunately, a lot of them did not make it, but there's still a decent amount that did make it. And the fun part is, I don't know what colors they're gonna be. So it's just gonna be a complete surprise. But let me go ahead and turn you around and show you how many did survive. Now just ignore all the weeds. We do have a little bit of yard work to do. But you can see the irises are getting pretty tall. But there was, if you watched my other video, there was a lot more planted in here than what's in here right now. I think my favorite one right there in the middle where that tag is, right there, I think that one is not going to make it. I think it died, which sucks because it was my favorite one. It was the black one. And then we have all these. Now these two pots my sister gave me, they are a bunch of different random irises. I don't remember what colors she said they are, but those I'm going to take out of these pots and plant right here in this corner and just fill in this whole side. So considering I planted most of that last year, I am pretty excited to see that much coming up and then being that big. And I just can't wait to see if they bloom. Fingers crossed they do. Now we're over here in what was supposed to be my dahlia beds but instead i just went ahead and planted irises all down the back of those beds and then we'll be doing cosmos maybe sunflowers i don't know sorry for all the smoke we're burning a bunch of stuff back there but we're over here by the kids beds where we planted all the onions and the strawberries and my daughter hasn't planted her bed just yet but let me go ahead and show you we have a pretty big strawberry let me show you that Look at the size of that one. So that one should be turning red soon. So hopefully we get it before the birds do. But all of our onions are growing pretty nicely. And we got strawberries on a lot of the plants over there. And then those two beds are full of strawberries. I'll show you these beds over here. You can see the irises all popping up back there. Nothing planted on the trellises just yet. Like I said, we did have a frost last night, but hopefully the following weekend is when I'll start getting all my seeds direct sown. And then I do have some plants inside. The tomatoes and pepper plants are not ready to come outside just yet. Um, the peppers, I know I wanna make sure that the night temperatures aren't getting below 50 and we still have quite a few of those left. And plus, they're only like this big right now. So not anywhere near time for that. There is one more thing I want to go ahead and show y'all before I end this video. And that is my peach tree. You can see from here, there are quite a few buds on there. Let's go ahead and take a closer look here. Look at how pretty all those are. I cannot wait to get peaches I did come in and prune quite a bit out of the center of the tree to provide more airflow. Like if you look, like I cut here, 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 here. That was just one branch. So you can imagine how much I cut off of this. And I think I did an okay job on shaping it. Now there might still be a few in there that I probably should have cut off, but that's the most I've pruned this tree ever since I've had it. So I'm expecting, I think last year we only got four peaches if I remember correctly. And something ate one of them before I even got to eat it. And they were only like this big. So I am expecting a lot more peaches this year. I am very happy to see that it doesn't look like the frost killed them at all, which I was really worried about, but that's all looking really, really good. I think that's really it garden wise. I know I'm going to be planting the beds or the bed in front of the house and then the pots over there. I'm going to be doing that soon. I bought a bunch of pretty flowers and I'm temporarily storing them in my husband's empty fish tank 
because I brought them all inside because I didn't want them to die last night. I planted tons of stuff at my parents' house last weekend, unfortunately. I swear I checked the temperature and it was not showing a frost. After I got everything planted, then I looked at the temperature again and saw that it was going to freeze this weekend. So I went over there and covered all of it with frost fabric. We aren't taking it off until Monday night, so fingers crossed all that survived. I'll let y'all know if it didn't, but fingers crossed hopefully it did, especially with the frost fabric on there. Cause that was a lot of work. So next year I'm going to make sure that I don't do it too soon. I just got too excited. And plus she wants it done before Easter and I wanted to have time for all the plants to grow and be a little more full. So learn my lesson, gotta be more patient and make sure for sure there's no frost before I start planting stuff. So that's it you guys. I can't wait to bring y'all along once I start getting everything planted. I haven't, really got an exact plan yet. I have a bunch of seeds that I went through all my seeds and I pulled all of them aside that I wanted to actually plant. There's quite a few in there that I decided I wanted to plant. And I know I do have quite a few beds, but I don't know if I have enough beds for all the stuff that I pulled out that I wanted to get planted. Well, that's it for this video, you guys. We will see y'all in the next one.